I am Alan Rode, co-founder of Taxman. Free book recommendations for you this week that Italy celebrates River Republic Day. It is a public holiday to remember when on the 2nd of June 1946 Italians decided to abolish the monarchy and vote for the Republic in a national referendum. So I would like to share with you three books about Italy and the Italians, written by non-Italian writers with strong ties with Italy. I read them some time ago when I was curious to see how foreign writers uh, view uh, Italy and the Italians. The first recommendation is the Pursuit of Italy by David Gilmour, published in 2011. The famous Italian statesman Massimo D'Azeglio once said after the unification of Italy in 1861, we have made Italy, now we need to make it Italians. And this famous quote summarized the widespread idea whereby Italians lack unity, sense of patriotism and nationalistic ethos. The book by David Gilmour tried to understand why, assuming this is true, and it has a strong historic touch. It crosses through Italian history, from ancient Rome to modern Italy. Various factors may play a role in affecting the Italian sense of unity. First of all, the fractured geography. Italy is a geography that favors the creation of close communities, and also the domination for centuries of Italy by foreign powers may, may have played a role. The second recommendation is The Land Where the Lemons Grow by Ellen Hatley, published in 2014. Helen is a garden writer, but this is not a book about botanical studies. It's a book about hard travel food history, and the fil rouge, the trade union, is the cultivation of citrus. First, Helen brings us to northern Italy, in Ivrea Piemont, where every year there is the Battaglia delle Arance, uh, the Battle of Oranges, where groups of people throw oranges at each other. Then she moves to Liguria, my home region, where we produce quinotto, a rather unique citrus, and there is a famous soft drink, quinotto, extracted from this uh, citrus. Then Helen moves to southern Italy, to Sorrento, the cradle of Limoncello, to Sicily, where uh, red oranges are produced. The innovative idea behind this book is to use the cultivation of citrus as a connecting line between different stories and different regions. The third recommendation is Italians by John Hooper, published in 2015. I had the opportunity to meet the author at a conference in Italy when he was presenting the book. John Hooper is a former journalist for The Economist and a correspondent for Southern Italy for uh, The Guardian. So he spent quite a lot of time in Italy and he tries to explain, for instance, the dynamics within Italian families, the Italian approach to work, or the way Italians use the, their own language. And you, have you read these books? Or do you have any reading recommendations on books concerning Italy or Italians? If yes, please feel free to write a post below this video. And thank you for watching it, of course, as always. Bye for now. Ciao, ciao!